<laughs> Hi YouTube. It's your girl Deidre. I'm alive. I'm well. My sister lost her. Still here. Working it. Um, I want to say I'm sorry. I haven't filmed a video I think in almost a year. And that is rude. And I apologize. And um, I'm so sorry. Woo! Okay. Let me just get into it. Um, I will start off by saying I am Canadian. My parents are from Barbados, so they're Asian. And I've been to that island a million times as a child and still even now. Um, and I usually go recently during crop over season, so end of July, so I could see my family and participate in carnival. So I was there this past July and I'm walking in the supermarket. So we're, I'm walking in like this Costco type place and I hear my name and I'm, my cousins were already walking up ahead and I turn around and there's this girl, I don't know her, she's a lovely sister walks and she told me she was a subscriber. I have never met a subscriber to my channel. Like I know that I have subscribers, I know that you guys comment, so I know that people are watching the videos. Did I actually meet somebody and she said she, I haven't posted videos in a long time and she missed them? What? Me? My videos? Like, I was genuinely stunned. For the, I, I think about it throughout the vacation, I'd be like, I cannot believe that it happened. So, nice meeting you. I'm terrible with names, I forget, but hello. Um, she was lovely, her hair was beautiful and thick and just growing, luscious. Um, <sighs> so, yes, here I am filming. Let's get started. It'll be my fourth year, November 30th, having Sister Locks, and I'm loving it. I'm gonna do another video describing my whole entire journey about that, but today's video is just to give you a, um, a preview of what will be coming. As well as hairstyles, I'm gonna do some hair repair because I have lost so many sister locks, and it's not because of sister locks, it's because of what I was going through in my life. So I will say this. I have bleached my hair for the past 10 months, I wanna say almost five times. Yep, don't do that. I'm hard ears, I don't listen, and I when you don't listen, you must feel, according to my mother, which is very true. On top of the bleaching process, I have eczema. I developed a couple of eczema patches all over my head. There's a really big one in the back. And literally, my hair started growing very thin. And my electrician was like, you need to get that checked out. And I did. And it was confirmed um, that there was eczema patches. So I ended up just cutting off that entire section because it was so thin. And then the rest of the gel was so fat that it was, it, some of them snapped off. And I just, just wanted to avoid that altogether. I remember the first sister lock I've ever lost. I was at work. And the funny thing is, that day, my first lock had fallen out maybe 10 minutes after one of my co-workers asked me if my hair was real she picked it up and she's like oh here this is on the ground and I was like <laughs> thank you very much and I saw her smirk like ah oh, I thought you said your hair was real it's real hair falls out it happens and I looked at it and I was devastated because my first time when I was sister lock falling out so I kept it and put it in my bag coming home on the bus and I'm on the bus maybe three stops away from my stop and this tall drag on the bus, he's like 6'2", skin like he walked out of a Hershey's factory, just chocolatey. Like, just deep chocolatey, long, thick dreads, just, you know, lime paw necklace, just giving me some African realness. And I was like, woo, Charles, he sits in the front, I'm in the middle of the bus. I could have gotten up at the back, but I said, I want you to see him a little bit closer. So I went out the front. I pull my stock, I stand in the front, glimpse him, he is an ebony king. And, um... Just before the bus ever pulled up to my stop, the dread tapped me. I turned around and I'm like, ooh, hi, how may I help you? And he's like, oh, you dropped this. And he gave me the dread from that fell in my bag. Have you ever watched cartoons and like a, like a hole opens up and the cartoon drops in it? I wish a hole opened up in the bus and I just fell into the middle of the earth. I was so, I was so embarrassed. I was like, thank you when I put it back in my bag. And if I was, if I had fairer skin, I'd be beat red. So, me cutting off the section, I've already lost it by then, so cutting off the section, I'm, I was okay with that. With the bleaching, the eczema, and then I am a Coca-Cola addict. I drink that like it is, <laughs> like, like it just gives me life. The cut from the pop, it's just so bad, but it's so good. I play football, I work out, and instead of um, rehydrating with water, I would drink pop, which is when I say it out loud, it's really ridiculous. And what you intake in your body, like what you eat, what you drink, it comes out in your skin and your hair. So the bleaching, the dehydration, and um, just the eczema, all those three things had put my hair through some rough times. 
It looks full and thick now. When it's straight, I think you can really see the difference between my volume. Like my volume now is normal. Before it was crazy thick. Um, so people that know me are like, oh, your hair looks a little bit less what's happening. I have to explain to them what's happening. So this year, I'm going to um, really focus on rehydrating my skin and my body and my hair, just being a, a healthier me. So the next series of videos will be obviously hairstyle videos, because I know you guys love those. But it's also I'm going to share with you my my finds in um, hydration and healthy eating and all those things that I know will affect me and help me just be healthier. I have started spraying my hair with water every single morning and every single night. Your body is majority water. You need to replenish that water. I am, like I feel like I'm learning about the human body all over again and water is very important. Drinking water, drinking water spraying water in your hair, it really revitalizes the sister locks and locks in general and natural hair in general. So even just by doing that simple little step, I've seen a difference in my hair. Also, I am currently trying um, the Afro-G products. I've used it once. I'm going to use it a couple more times before I do review on it. But I will say that from the one time of using it, my hair has come leaps and bounds. From the bleaching, it was extremely dry. I felt like I had straw literally in my hair. And it would touch my like skin and just be rough. From the first time I used the protein treatment, it was dramatically softer. So thus far, it's definitely um, something that I would recommend. In regards to my scalp for eczema, I went to the doctor and he prescribed um, Benaderm, a scalp liquid, I don't know if you can hear that. And I put that in, um, I believe, I don't remember, I stopped using it. I think it was twice a day or once a day. Um, but since then, my hair has grown back. All these little sections in my hair are all from the eczema. Um, this hair, the next style that I have now, is literally just a point, like, it's just in a hair wuzzle. Um, I'll take it down. It's just in the hair wuzzle from the doll store, like a pack, and it's not even wrapped around, it's put in once. I'm going to be interviewing my electrician, Avalon Williams, at Celebrity Unisex Salon. So if you have any questions for her, comment below. So when I interview her, I will ask them. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!